uh, late this afternoon for chest pains. Here's the District Attorney of Los Angeles, Gil Garcetti. Okay, uh, Mr. District Attorney, would you like to start? How, what is his condition right now? Uh, let, let me tell you how th this started. Okay. About late this afternoon, we were in a meeting. Uh, Mr. Hodgman uh, asked to be excused. He told me he was not feeling well, that uh, he was a bit disoriented. Uh, he left the room out of abundance of caution later on after complaining about uh, chest uh, pains. Uh, paramedics were called. The paramedics came. We conferred with the paramedics. Again, in abundance of caution, he was removed to California Hospital, where various uh, tests uh, have taken place. Uh, Dr. Gregg is present. He can describe uh, what was taking place. He remains in the hospital uh, tonight, right now. Uh, he will be undergoing additional tests. Will he remain on the case, or will he come back, or what will that situation be? I can't answer that uh, right now. It, it looks like he will be able to come back uh, to the case. How soon? I do not know. He, uh, I believe, is resting comfortably at this time, but there are still additional tests that have to be made that perhaps the doctor could answer some of those Did questions. Did he have a heart attack, doctor? Or can you tell us what? As far as you know, Gil, was, uh, uh, will, they, will there be court tomorrow with or without him? There'll be a court hearing tomorrow, yes. Right, the regular court hearing. <coughs> regular court hearing. Thank will you ask for a delay of the trial if he can't get back right away? We will address that tomorrow in court. Okay, doctor, could you tell us about his condition? Did he have a heart attack, or what's the situation? Um, at this point, there's no evidence that he's had an acute heart attack, and he's been doing very well ever since he came in. Uh, no evidence of a, uh, the heart attack? No definite evidence of a heart attack. He had a very brief, self-limited episode of chest pain this afternoon, lasting a very short period of time. But given what he told me, we felt it warranted to uh, observe him overnight and have him seen by a cardiologist, and we won't know for probably 12 to 24 hours one way or the other, but um, clinically he's doing extremely well. Do you think it's stress-related, or can you tell in a situation like this? I, he, I can tell you that Mr. Hodgman looks 200 percent better just an hour ago than he did five hours ago, four hours ago. He seemed very upset during today's trial about the introduction of new witnesses by the defense. Uh, was this the type of thing that was being discussed uh, when he seemed to have the seizure, or what was going on? Well, let's not call it a seizure. We don't know what it was. There is no question that Mr. Hodgman is a man who cares deeply for justice. There's no question that today and, and other days have affected him. They've affected all of us. Mr. Garcetti, could you just go into what was going on? Was it a meeting? Where was there? Who was taking part? It was a meeting in my conference room with the Simpson team together. We were discussing the court's order that we're going to work late tonight responding to the court's request to take a look at uh, what the defense had done. And we were just beginning the process, frankly, of discussing this when uh, Mr. Hodgman, who was sitting next to me, said that he was not feeling well and would like to be excused. He was excused at that point. Did he get excited during the meeting as he did during the court meeting? No, he was very calm, uh, collected. During the meeting, in fact, he, he was uh, quite subdued during the meeting. Gil, I just, got, just walked in the room. Could you tell me again, what was he complaining about? He said, that he said he didn't feel good. He was disoriented. Later, he was complaining about chest pains and other physical symptoms. Doctor, since he didn't have an, a heart attack, when, what's your best guess is when you might release him from the hospital? And what kind of program would you put him on? Can he go right back to work? Well, I'm, I'm an emergency specialist. I don't get in involved with protracted care, that would be up to the cardiologist and the internist involved. So we do know that he did not have, indeed have a heart attack? Well, at this point, he has not had definite evidence that he's had a heart attack. And clinically, he's doing so well, it, it's unlikely. Okay. Gil, can, can you tell us what is the status of the hearing tomorrow? I mean, does this change anything at this it, point? Well, it certainly changes it. Uh, but let's wait till we get in the courtroom tomorrow. Very likely, we are going to be asking that the case uh, be postponed for a period of time, most likely. How long would you say, based on the doctor's uh, estimation of it, it's, it's much more complicated than Mr. Hodgman 
uh, we are being asked to look at a tremendous amount of information and inform the court what in the way of sanctions we want. That's going to take time to digest that information. We just can't do it in a few hours or working through the night until 4 o'clock in the morning. So you think that perhaps uh, we would not have any more uh, the jury in hearing evidence for the rest of the week? I, I can't speculate. I don't know. Thank you, everyone. Okay, that was uh, District Attorney Gil Garcetti along with uh, Dr. Gregg, who's the emergency room doctor here at the California Medical Center. Bill Hodgman is in, uh, in the hospital here. He did not have a heart attack. That is the good news. But the bad news for the prosecution is that uh, he may uh, be off this case, and this case could be delayed for a while. I'm Joe McBann reporting live from downtown L.A. Thank so you thank very you much, for that. Joe.